I'm such an asshole. So I consider myself an avid baker. I just made a cake. Timer just went off. I just pulled it out of the oven. It looked kind of weird. So I took a little taste of it. I didn't put the fucking sugar in. So. All right, so we are back today with, I don't know if this is part two or three of my Try 5 Korean Beauty Products series, but I'll list below the one or two that I've already done. I think I only did one so far, so I certainly took my time doing another one. All right, so I have five products today I haven't used. I've accumulated a bunch of Korean beauty products, and I have them in a little pouch that I keep in my drawers over here, and every once in a while I'll pull out five and we'll try them together. So. The first thing I have is by Touch and Soul, and this is the No Poor Blem Problem. Poor Blem instead of Problem. <laughs> Smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup. Backstory for this, I've, I've seen this a lot of places and I've seen good things about it, but anytime it's a, there's poor smoothing, I always feel like it's gonna be a very silicone, oily, not good situation for me. So I try to stay clear of it. Well. I felt it in a store recently and it, I was intrigued by it, so I definitely, I definitely decided to just give it a try. The next is a lipstick, I have a concealer, an eye product, and a blush, which I'm super excited about. So I've gotten these either from my past Korean beauty boxes or something I picked up on Amazon whenever. I'll, I'll list everything on the screen and whatever and everything in the box below as well, so let's get into it. I've already done my eyeshadow. I use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette if you want to know. So now we are going to go into the primer. All right, so I mean, it's pretty cute. It's like a nice dusty glass bottle. You get 1.0 fluid ounces. That's a good amount. And it just kind of looks like a pink gel. Maybe that was too much. It doesn't come out like, um, you know, some silicone primers come out and they're like solid. Like it just doesn't feel like that. It definitely feels kind of slippery, but it doesn't feel, well, maybe it does feel very silicone-y. It doesn't feel as silicone-y as some primers that I've tried. Like, I don't like the professional. I think that's just way too, like, wax-like for me. The foundation I'm gonna use it with is my current favorite right now. This is the Beauty Blender foundation, the Bounce Long Whip Wear Liquid, whatever. I have the color 2.2. .2. Oh God, I'm sorry. And I know I don't have my colored brows on today. To be honest, I just didn't, I just didn't have the energy to do them color today. All right, foundation's done. I don't particularly see much pore filling going on, which is what I'm assuming. Primer that fills micro convex on skin meticulously. What the hell's micro convex? Contains green tea extracts, collagen enhancing adhesion for next step of makeup and keeping makeup long lasting as clean as just finished. What? <laughs> so far, I do not see tons of pore filling going on. My skin doesn't look more textured than it normally does, but it doesn't look less. The next thing is a concealer, and this is by The Sem, and this is supposed to be like a top selling concealer. I have the color 1.5, dress is in Korean. Okay, guess it looks all right. And you know, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have crazy panda eyes, but I mean, we could all use coverage under our eyes to at least, to at least brighten, brighten our looks up, I guess you could say. It feels nice. It feels kind of, doesn't feel super thick and cakey. Hmm, it did brighten nicely, I guess. That's quite nice. I mean, so far it's nice, but it's definitely not crazy high coverage. And unfortunately, I'm sorry I don't have more info on some of these, but some of these I can't read. I'm gonna go finish the makeup, the rest of my face makeup that doesn't include the stuff I have here, and I'll be right back. All right, so the next thing I have is by, again, by The Sim, and this is the, I don't know, but it's called Eco Soul. And I'm pretty sure it's like, it's either a, yeah, it's like a pressed foil shadow. Where did I even see this? I saw the, oh my gosh, wow. That's beautiful. Oh, this could even be a highlighter, what? So I'm not even gonna fuck around with this. I'm immediately, because I do this with any metallic or shimmer, whatever, eyeshadow that I use, I always put down some kind of glitter glue. So I'm gonna do that here too, because that's just what I do. It's, ex oh my God. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Like I wanna say it kind of reminds me of, you see this? It kind of reminds me of some kind of like the color pop, but it's not a creamy, moussey formula. Like it's definitely a pressed. Oh, 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 it reminds me of, the Stila Chrome Pots. That's what it reminds me of, but it's not as expensive. So anybody who's been wanting those, 
try these instead because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna try another one of these because this is gorgeous. Now, right off the bat, this has shocked me because Korean beauty is very muted. Like the colors are very like a wash of color, not crazy pigmented, like nothing. I've, I, I, I haven't actually used anything that like pops. This like fucking pops. Like look how gorgeous that is. I'm pretty sure so far this is like my favorite thing of the moment and I'm putting this in like my everyday makeup stash. I can't like have a brain gasm over that right now. Like I need to keep going. Okay, so the next is blush, which I'm also super excited about. I haven't tried it though. This is the Pro Multi Face. Pro Multi Face, that's what it's called by Cleo. And the color is O2 Berry Delight. I'm so excited. It's matte, which I also like, which leaves room for, you know, highlight if you're a highlighting person, which I totally am. And I mean, it's not scary pigmented. Really smooth. Okay, so this is how it just comes off on your finger. But I love that there's that pop of darkness over here to make sure that you get something out of it. Another one going to my favorites. Oh, this is so fun. All right, let's do a highlighter real quick because I can't live without one. Let's do the ink lot that I just pulled back out. All right, and the last is a lipstick and this is by Etude House. And I mean, how cute is this packaging? Kind of dying over it. So this kind of looks like very close to my actual lip color. So let's actually see how the pigment is on this. Ooh, and it smells really good. What does it smell like? It smells like a very hint of like fruit. I think that's quite nice. And it actually completely matches my eyes today. Oh, I'm sorry. And this isn't, did I tell you what color this was? This is in the color BE109. It's a fancy name. So what do you guys think? Is there anything that I use today that you particularly like? I mean, I'm sick over this fucking eye stuff. Like this is gorgeous. Oh my God, I need more. All right, so that was it. Let me know what you guys liked out of this video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And make sure you check out my giveaway I have going on right now. It's over at the end of August of this year, 2018. So I'll leave the link below in case you want to check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.